The head ranger saw the smith taken to the tower by the foul Swamp Slayer clan. But the frogs had barricaded the path. Only a heavy two-handed axe would shatter it. Nothing like the feel of an axe smashing through tough wood. Reggie wondered if it would do the same to frog shields and frog skulls. was excited to help the king. An unforgettable tale to tell his children one day. The smith's hammer. He would never have dropped it willingly. Reggie was grateful for his help. He needed to get to his brother as fast as possible. Would he find him still alive in the tower? The smith was alive, but the key to his freedom was held by Blocky Magoo, merciless leader of the Swamp Slayers. He squatted atop the tower, 
croaking orders to his clan. The village would soon be a ruin, and the frog spawn would feast on the dead. corpse of Blocky Magoo lay lifeless on the floor. He had croaked his last orders. Free of his chains, the smith would return to the Crimson Fort. The ranger would return to the lodge to begin to rebuild his guild. The young king thought he'd best check in on them both. to any blade, it could affect enemies of any size, giving Reggie a much needed advantage.
more grubs in the sewers. Reggie looked forward to a day when being king didn't involve so much time in sewers. Ranger thanked Reggie for his rescue, but he still needed help. This infestation was of a size he'd never seen before. The young king hoped that was the last of them, and that the smell would wash off his armor.
Was there no place the grubs would not infest? Even the sewers were overrun. Any more of them in the kingdom would stink like the froglands. The young ranger warned the king what he was about to walk into. Grubs like these were not to be underestimated. Grubs were gone, and the stench was contained.
The village might still be smoldering in places, but that wasn't enough to stop a hardened business rat like the shopkeeper from selling his goods. The guard captain asked the young king to join him in the trial ground. There was something he needed to see. monument to honor his father, King Rattus. He would grieve after his kingdom was safe. Crossbow of finest hardwood. A weapon fit for a king. The chef wanted the renovations to start with the kitchen, as rebuilding a fort is hungry work. Apparently, also expensive work. In the golden age of Reggie's kingdom, he would invent taxation. But for now, he needed to complete quests for the Elder Rat to put coin in the royal coffers. <laughs> 